Morning everyone. It's Monday morning. Still didn't win the lottery. <laughs> it's uh, about 7 p.m. right now. I'm leaving on time. I went to work yesterday to organize everything to make sure that when I get to work today I just split, get my tools and split. guy picking up cans in the garbage so yesterday uh, I went to the hardware store to buy the floor mat and a piece of wood to start my project it was a big ass piece of wood so uh, I had to reduce that piece of wood <laughs> and unfortunately I don't have a radial saw all I have is our grinders with cutting disc. So I cut the wood with the cutting disc. I can assure you it made some serious smoke. The wood don't like to be cut by uh, friction. So uh, I find a piece of steel as well, but I'm gonna look at work if I can find more um, piece of steel like the rod to make an electromagnet. Actually, I'm gonna have to revise my plan to see exactly what I'm gonna do. And uh, I'm wondering if I should use actual mag magnets with the uh, transformator wires around them, or uh, should I use just like a uh, steel bar like I used to do the first time around? And uh, well, someone on the paranormal this forum mentioned something that, yes, I am not. I'm not well versed in radio frequency and radio broadcasting and however radio works. I am not well versed in that. Uh, frankly, uh, not very familiar. I, I know that you can make radio any size you want when you have all the right components. Because uh, one of my uh, probably seventh portable radio I had was the size of a credit card. It was about three millimeters, three millimeters thick by the size of a credit card, and it worked on a very thin battery. Uh, I don't know if I still have this product, but uh, it, it worked like it turns on and off when you uh, plug the ear, the earphone, and uh, that design was such like a brilliant design, and I believe that it would still work today. If I would put a battery on it and find it where find where it is, I haven't seen that thing in ages. But it was one of my first gadgets. Uh, it was very practical to use. Anyways, uh, that's one part I still have to figure out. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna slowly start making the, the project on a smaller scale. And uh, if this thing vanish in front of me just disappear through times then I know I know it will work but uh, I'm far from finished yet still a lot of whining to do so I'm gonna look at the work uh, my workplace to see if I can find some steel rod some doesn't necessarily have to be very thick or very big steel rods but find some nonetheless I want to I want to recreate on a certain size as much as possible as what the Brassard experiment was without the EGR part. I'll try to put uh, something at the helm of it, uh, some form of controls. So that's pretty much it. I'm on my way to making it. Uh, finally find the courage and strength to do it. And. Uh, I'm gonna have to find a lot of wires to do what I need to do. So this 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 leave me in a blank state that what if it doesn't work or what if it does work? Then what? We all been waiting for this for such a long time. And um, it's not every day you have the actual possibility to actually do it you know so 
for now what I'm asking anyone if they're watching this is I got these two square magnets that are stuck together like I did on the God's device and how should I wire how should I put the transmitter wires lengthwise widewise any forms any suggestion so keep me posted on that and uh, that's pretty much it for now I have to head to work and uh, I have to focus on my work right now so I don't forget anything so I'm gonna catch you guys later have a good day everyone